Hi all, welcome to our channel. Myself, Dr. Naga Prashant, and in this video, we are going to see various search algorithms that are used in molecular docking programs. In part one of this video, we are going to see what are search algorithms, what is the use of search algorithms, and classification of search algorithms. Coming to the primary use of molecular docking is those are primarily designed to predict the binding of small molecules with target proteins. To be very clear, the molecular docking is a computer simulation pro uh, program or procedure which is used to predict the conformations, various conformations of the ligands with uh, the receptor. So, it is going to predict various conformations of the ligand with receptors. So, here the receptor may be either a protein, a DNA or else RNA. At the same time, a ligand may be a small organic molecule or else a polypeptide. Here, the molecular docking programs are going to utilize the predictor or else predefined binding site where our ligand is going to bind in its a different orientation. So, the predicted means a molecular docking software is going to predict the possible binding site, whereas predefined means it is going to be defined by the user who is going to perform the docking. He can predefine based upon his own interest or else based upon the literature. And now, this prediction of possible confirmation. As I said, the docking program is going to predict the possible conformation at which the uh, ligand can bind with the given protein that is active site. For predicting the orientation or conformation of the ligand, each and every individual docking program uses a specific search algorithm. And after predicting the perfect orientation of the ligand, after binding with the active site in the given receptor, a numerical function has to be given. A numerical value has to be uh, given for this particular orientation. So, for that, the docking programs are utilizing scoring functions. So, the scoring function will give a numerical value, a number for each orientation of the ligand when it was binded or docked with the active site of the given protein. So, the search algorithm is going to define or uh, generate various poses or confirmations of the ligand, whereas the scoring function is going to give numbers for each and every such generated confirmation. So, these are the two important uh, parts of any docking program. So, let us see them in detail. As I said, molecular docking is going to have two important functions, that is search algorithm and scoring function. Let us see examples of such search algorithms and scoring functions. Here, the examples of search algorithms are Monte Carlo, genetic algorithm, Lamarckian genetic algorithm, molecular dynamics, simulated annealing, and local optimization, whereas coming to the scoring function, force field, empirical and knowledge based scoring functions are the three very very mostly used since decades whereas conscious scoring function is under development and it is it started gaining its importance in giving the best scoring function and now coming to the last machine learning based scoring function this is the future of scoring functions. In short, it can also be called as AI ML based scoring function. AI means artificial intelligence, ML means machine learning. So, this AI ML based scoring function is the future of the scoring function. And after few years, maybe most of the uh, docking uh, programs may adopt using this uh, AI ML based scoring function. And now, let us see the main objective uh, of developing a docking algorithm or as a scoring function. So, uh, the main objective is should be, it should be fast 
and it should be able to develop the novel lead molecules and the last and important is it should be reproducible with experimental confirmations and when we are going for validation it should be uh, producing high accuracy so these are all the four important things which uh, need to be kept in our mind while developing any docking algorithm or else a scoring function each docking program makes use of either one or multiple algorithms which makes it possible to generate uh, confirmations and a binary complex here binary complex means we are going to talk about two binary means two one is a ligand another one is going to be the protein uh, that is a receptor various search algorithms like doc auto doc gold flexes z doc mz doc ms doc surplex mc doc of course these are few of uh, the docking programs that are available and each of these docking programs are going to utilize a specific search algorithms such as incremental construction genetic algorithm monte carlo etc so each one of this search algorithm is going to use its specific parameters and a search method here search method means in searching of confirmations of the given input ligand or ligands and now we are going to see docking applications and their classifications the docking applications can be classified broadly into two types so based upon the uh, flexibility so as well as we know whenever we are talking about the flexibility uh, we know that the docking can be classified into two that is rigid so where uh, neither the protein nor uh, the ligand or flexible both are going to be rigid and second one is uh, flexible in flexible docking either the ligand or else the protein or else both are going to be flexible so these are the two major types of uh, docking based upon the flexibility let us see uh, the same uh, classification with the help of uh, images how these conformational searches are going to be generated so the conformational search is going to be done by the given algorithm by using several parameters of the ligand such as torsion angle or dihedral angle translational or rotational degrees of freedom and these are going to be modified incrementally so 
This docking is going to be a multi-step process where in each step, in each step, this incrementally modification uh, is going to be done. That is the complications to the rotationals of a carbon-carbon uh, single bond is going to be done so that a new conformation can be generated. In each step, each new generation is going to, each conformation is going to be generated and it is going to be docked. And as I said earlier, in case of rigid docking, uh, the such algorithms uh, need not to be suffer a lot and it's not going to be uh, so cost computationally too because uh, we are not going to generate too many number of conformations because the ligand and uh, receptor are going to stay rigid. Whereas in case of uh, flexible docking, it is going to be uh, really time taking and it is uh, going to be more computational cost. And this uh, ligand flexibility search methods can be divided basically into three classes. That is systematic search method, random or stochastic search methods and simulation methods. Let us see this classification in detail. So this is the detailed classification of uh, search methods. So the things that are in blue color are the major uh, three classes that is systematic search algorithm. Next one is stochastic or random search methods and third one is simulation method. Here the systematic search method or such algorithms can again be divided into two types that is exhaustive search algorithms and fragmentation based search algorithms. So this exhaustive search algorithms are going to search the possible conformations exhaustively means it is going to produce a large and large population of uh, conformations which is going to result in uh, giving a best binary complex that is best output. And next one is fragmentation based algorithms. These fragmentation based algorithms are going to cut out your input ligand into various small fragments and these orientations of the individual fragments is going to be docked at the active site and such best orientation of each individual fragment is going to be linked with uh, covalent bonds that is construction. So. Uh, this is about uh, fragment based uh, such algorithms which are again subdivided into three that is incremental construction, distance geometry and fast shape matching. Now coming to stochastic or random search method. As the name itself is indicating it is a random search method. Randomly these search algorithms are going to generate various confirmations and examples of such random search methods are genetic algorithm, Monte Carlo uh, search algorithm and taboo search algorithm. And last one and most important one is simulation methods. And examples of such simulation methods are molecular dynamics and simulated annealing. Basically, these uh, simulation methods are least preferred in docking or else those are preferred at the later, later stages of the docking. The main uh, reason we, uh, why it is done so is these molecular uh, dynamic simulations or simulated learning that is simulated methods are going to take a lot and lot and lot of time. Uh, even if you are having supercomputers with us, uh, this will take few hours together to complete uh, each run. So uh, these are the basic uh, uh, classification or classes of uh, such algorithms. Uh, the detailed uh, such algorithm, the details about these such algorithms uh, individually we can see in part two. Uh, if you like content of this video, please subscribe our channel. If you have any comments or doubts regarding this video, please do comment in the chat box.